Hey everyone, it's Grace from Kapwing, and over the past few months, you all have made it clear that you want to see one particular feature in our editor. This feature is a staple in video editing and is clearly important to creators, so I'm happy to announce that transitions are officially live in Kapwing. Transitions will allow you to move smoothly from one clip to the next in your videos, and in just a moment, I'll show you where exactly to find the feature. Now before we get into it, one note is that this feature is definitely still in the works. Our engineers are actively working on it and adding more functionality to it, but we need your help. At the end of the day, our editor and Kapwing itself exists to help creators like you, so we want to hear your thoughts. Try out the transitions feature, and if you have any ideas or feedback or feature requests at all, just drop us a comment below, and that way our engineers can see what people think. Now don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay updated with all of Kapwing's product announcements, and I'll show you where to find the transitions feature right after the intro. So to get to the transitions feature, you'll obviously need to go to Kapwing first. So click the first link in the description below to get to Kapwing, start a new project. And to add transitions, you basically need to have at least two video clips. So I'm uploading three different clips um, onto one canvas. Now head to the timeline up here to add your transitions. So the timeline, if you've never used it before, it moves from left to right in sequence and this canvas is where you can see the display of what's happening. So as right now, all my different video layers, the three different videos I uploaded are stacked on top of each other, meaning that only one of those videos is going to be on the screen, which is the third video, this nature video. To add the transitions, you first need your two, at least two clips sequentially placed next to each other so that the ends of the clips are touching. So to do that, for example, I'm gonna zoom out here a little. I'm gonna add all the rest of the clips onto in sequence after this first clip. So I'm gonna drag this second clip into place next to the first clip so it's touching. And then I'm also gonna do the same thing with the this third clip next to the second clip. So all my clips are now in sequence and you can see that if I click this middle clip, now on the left side of the screen here, we have these two buttons that say beginning and end, apply transition. So basically the key to having this feature appear is that you need clips to be touching one another. If I click beginning, it will be the entrance of the clip and there are two options currently for transitions. More will be added over time. And if you have ideas for what kind of transitions you'd like to see, drop us a comment with them. But currently we have cross dissolve and then cross blur. So cross dissolve looks like this and then cross blur looks like this. So when you click one of them, you have the options to change their speed. So the default looked like that, slow is a little slower, and then fast is a little faster. So I'm just gonna keep it with the default right now. Now if I wanted to add a transition to the next part where it's transitioning from this second clip to the third clip, I can do that by clicking the clip that I want to add the transition to and then clicking the end button. So same process, you can add one of these uh, transitions and then change the speed as well. So then it looks like this. Now currently this feature only works with video clips. So for example, I have this static image that I've uploaded after this third clip. And if I click on the clip, there is no end transition that I can apply, unfortunately. So. If I click the image, you can see that none of the transition stuff appears. Despite that, there are still in this editor uh, the animations tab. So if I click done here, the transitions will still be on my video, as you can see here. Uh, but something we can do for images and video clips still is add animation. If I click on one of my video clips, I can see that there's this animate button. And these animations have been in Kapwing for a while now. They're the same. They either will affect the entrance of the clip or affect the whole thing. So everything except hue rotate and flicker will affect only the entrance. So, and if you apply an animation after you apply to transition, the animations that are affect the entrance of the clip will overwrite the transition. So just now I had added a cross dissolve transition to uh, my clip from going from the second clip to the third clip here in this moment. If I click the third clip and add a drop in animation instead, it overwrites that. So there's no more cross dissolve. Instead, it drops in. So we can see that again here. 
Now, on the other hand, something like hue rotate that affects the whole clip like this, where it's just hue rotating through the, the video, that can work with the transitions. So if you added a cross dissolve to your clips, you can also have hue rotate and they will both work. So to demonstrate, I'm gonna go back to add a beginning cross dissolve animation. And as you can see, it cross dissolves and then the hue rotate is still applied. And the animations tab also works with images. So in the meantime, although we don't have transitions for images, you can still use the animations tab for images. Another way to add transitions is if you only have one video clip, you can split the clip. So I have this one video clip here, and if I click where I want to split, then now you have two conjoined clips and you can add the animations as I can see here. After you apply transitions and or animations, there's obviously a whole lot of other things you can do in this editor, adding text, images, audio, subtitles, and other elements. And then as always, once you are done with your video, you can just click the export red button. You'll be on this loading page for a few moments as your video is processed, and then your video will be ready for downloading. If you notice a small watermark in the corner here, you can remove that for free just by signing into Kapwing, and there should be a button here. And then when you're ready, you can just click download and it'll save to your device. Let us know your thoughts on the transitions feature in the comments below. As I said earlier, this feature is new. Our engineers are working on it and want to know what people think so they can decide how to improve it. Make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more Kapwing updates and we'll see you in the next video.